Here's how to terminate the Panduit net key jack. You will need a termination base, a wire stripper, a wire snipper, the 110 termination punch down tool with a cut blade, and a small flathead screwdriver. To add the jack to the termination base, align the jack's small open tab to the base. The brown pair should align with the tab in the upper right as you add it to the base. Snap it in. You'll hear a click letting you know that the jack is secure on the base. Next, take your cable and cut off about one and a half to two inches of wire with the wire stripper. Bend the cable a few times to remove the covering. Then make a small cut in the foil and rotate it off. Next, fan the wires out 90 degrees from each other. Rotate the base so that the brown pair is in the upper right corner. This is cable side A, so all the colors go directly in the jack the way it's set. Untwist the brown pair from the end to get it started. Pull the brown pair of cables down and lock them into place. Once the brown pair is in, center the cable to the back of the jack. Next, move on to the green pair. Try to maintain as much twist as possible, although there are times when you'll have to remove twist to get it into the jack. Rotate the base to access the orange pair. Pull this pair down and into place. Then do the same for the blue cables. Take the termination punch down tool with the blade side outward and lock the cables in place. This tool also cuts the cable as you push them down. Rotate the base to access the other side and repeat the procedure. When you're done, the excess cables should come right off. Align the base with the brown cables in the upper right and take the flathead screwdriver to place it into the open tab. Carefully press the open tab down to remove the jack from the termination base. Finally, take the wire cap retaining clip and snap it on. Here's how to terminate a Panduit net key jack using B-side wiring. You'll need a Panduit termination base, a wire jacket stripper, a wire snipper, the jack rabbit tool, and a flathead screwdriver. First, strip off about two inches of cable jacket from the wire. Bend the cable back and forth to remove the jacket. Next, remove the foil. You may need to use your cutter to get it started. We're terminating cable side B. B side does not go straight into the jack. First, fan all of the wires out at a 90 degree angle. Make sure the brown cable is next to the blue cable and the orange cable is next to the green cable. Insert the jack into the termination base. The latch side is labeled. To terminate the jack, arrange the wires, keeping the maximum amount of twist that you can. Start off with a brown pair, trying to keep the cable as centered as you can on the back of the jack. Then move on to the remaining pairs. Spin the base around to finish the remaining pairs. Once all cables are securely fastened, Bend the cable down 90 degrees so that you can place the jack in the jack rapid tool. Support the wire ends as you bend the cable down to keep them from coming loose. Take the flathead screwdriver and place it on the latch side to pop the jack out. Insert the jack into the jack rapid tool and pull the trigger. This will cut all the wires as it terminates. You should be able to remove the excess cable. Remove the jack from the tool and straighten the cable. Finally, take the wire cap retaining clip and snap it on.